Hey guys, it's Jared Cook here at the Perry Company in Waco, Texas. I'm showing off some Fortress half doors on the Polaris Ranger Crew 1000 XP. Uh, these doors are, are something that we started selling in 2018. Uh, we've had a tremendous run. Uh, they've been very, very popular. Um, and, and just a stout door that we want to continue to sell into the market. We had to make some changes during the 2020-2021 COVID uh, supply chain interruption uh, that, I, that I wanted to explain here on camera. I know a lot of people are going back to that video from 2018 and then they get our product and they go, well, this isn't exactly what I thought it was. And so we wanted to do a video. Uh, it took us a while to get a unit. As you guys know, it's very hard to come by these units right now. Uh, thankfully, we had someone let us borrow this and put a set of doors on it. So let's, let's take a closer look at the hinge system, which is where uh, the changes were made. All right, guys, so we're in the Perry Company right now. We're gonna take a look at the difference between the Gen 1 bracketry uh, or the hinge mount and the Gen 3 hinge mount. Uh, the Gen 1 you would have purchased in 2018, 19, and 20. Uh, most likely if you purchased in 21, then you would have received a, a Gen 3 hinge mount. And so originally we designed these doors with this bullet hinge, um, that I really, really like. The problem with this hinge is that we were buying it out of Italy. Uh, and when COVID hit, they gave us a, a four month lead time and we couldn't live with that lead time. It wasn't something that was gonna allow us to supply to our customers in the way that, uh, that we feel they need to be supplied to. And so uh, we looked at a way to make things locally sourced. You know, I, instead of buying something out of Italy, how can we make it here in Central Texas so that we have more control of the supply chain? And so what we've come up with is an automotive style hinge. Uh, we have two uh, stainless steel pins, two nylon washers, two bushings, and two E-clips that connect the uh, hinge mount and the hinge panel. So you don't have the easy on, easy off access like you used to, uh, but I do feel that this is gonna be a, a, a stronger uh, design over the years. So 10 years down the road, uh, you have a bushing that goes out, which will happen in older cars. Anybody who's messed with them knows that that, that happens from time to time. You simply press the old one out, you press a new one in, and you're back on the road. So I feel like this is a, a better unit long term than what we had. Although I, I love the old hinges, we just couldn't source them here in Waco, Texas uh, economically. So um, if you guys have any questions about the difference in our hinge mounts or any of our products, please give us a call here at the Perry Company. We'd love to help you. Thanks.